After a scrappy start in blustery conditions, Ferry Boulder forced Mark Glennon into his first save of the game. And with the wind on their backs, the Swans remained on top. Jason Scotland showing why he is the league's second highest scorer. On 20 minutes, the Swans broke from midfield. Ferry Boulder threading the ball through to Jason Scotland, who in turn found Andy Robinson. The little scouser's quick feet saw the shot saved by Glennon. Roberto Martinez on a cold day in Yorkshire, already thinking about next week's trip to Spain. Then, on 45 minutes, Ferry Boulder's corner was eventually met by Jason Scotland. Fired home his 20th goal of the season. Thanks to some shocking defending and a little flick from Alan Tate. The strong wind made things somewhat unpredictable, but Fabian Brandy made his presence felt almost immediately, forcing this save from Glennon. The Terriers were now throwing everything at the Swansea defence. Angel Rangel and Chris Bandon forcing a save from De Vries. It was proving to be a real ding-dong battle. Fabian Brandy again causing all sorts of problems for the Terriers' defence. Ex-Wales international Rob Page was booked twice in six minutes. The second yellow turning red for a foul on Jason Scotland. It unsettled the home side and Butler came close before Glennon made a point-blank save from Jason Scotland in the last minute. Scotland was hurt in the process and became yet another casualty for Martinez as Swansea stretched their unbeaten league run to 18 games, finished Huddersfield nil, Swansea City won. Swansea continued to set the pace